Now, one of the Grand Strand's local fire departments is offering free car seat safety checks. This event was one of many regional car seat check events held in the state for National Child Passenger Safety Week. News 13's Jackie Labrizzi was at the fire department this afternoon. She spoke with one of the fire captains about the importance of these installments and how they can save your child's life. Tuesday evening, people gathered here at the Surfside Fire Department to either have their car seats installed or checked. There are many cases I've been on that the children weren't seriously injured when everyone else in the vehicle was because they were properly restrained. Surfside Beach Fire Captain Chauncey Kelly says the number one thing he sees when looking at a child's car seat is that it's improperly installed. It's very important because if a child is involved in a motor vehicle accident and they're not properly restrained, they can actually become injured worse. Captain Kelly says there are certified technicians that go through a 40 hour week long course on car seat safety and ways to properly install the five different types. He says they also stay up to date with the changes in car seat manufacturers. But this is the first car seat safety event they've had in Surfside. Captain Kelly says they're also looking to grow their car seat tech numbers because unfortunately there's been a decline in the area. The other way is to put a seat belt through here. And then if it's forward facing, there's actually another strap that goes on the back. Captain Kelly told me he's hoping to get a big crowd to help ensure the safety of others. But for one parent I talked to, she says this is always a must. It's very painless, but also to know that you have somebody that's a professional doing it. And we have done it each time that we've swapped ours out. That's Jenny Van Buren, a mother of two kids with car seats. And she says what many do not know is that once involved in a motor vehicle accident, that car seat can no longer be used. She says buying a used car seat is very dangerous. There's expiration date on strollers and car seats. Um, every single one of them, typically they're about seven to 10 years. Captain Kelly says before a child can sit without a booster seat, they must be able to sit on the seat with their back flat, knees at a 90 degree level, their feet flat on the floor, and seatbelt coming across their shoulders. Captain Kelly says many car manufacturing companies are encouraging kids up to 13 or 14 to have a car seat. Coming up on News 13 at 6, I'll have a report on which car seats are state law mandates and which are known to be the safest. Reporting in Surfside Beach, Jackie Labrizzi, News 13. And Captain Kelly says if you weren't able to make tonight's car seat safety check, reach out to your local fire department. He adds car seat installments have gotten more complicated over the years and it's better to be safe than sorry and they're happy to help.